Gilgis Alexander with the ball. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. And such a clever player in pick and rolls. Gilgis Alexander is unpredictable and understands how to attack defenses. Oh my goodness! Disrespectful. Man, I like seeing LeBron throw it down, especially when he decides to do it with a little flavor. And Clark, what's most amazing about LeBron James, how remarkable he is playing at his age. T.A., there's a lot of things that are really incredible about LeBron, but that's one of the most incredible, his high level of play at his advanced age. And he's still playing with great athleticism. A credit to the work he's put in and his giftedness. Pass to McGrady. Excellent defensive instincts leading to the quick reaction. Here's Rice. Back to Wimanyama. 
The three is up. Second chance shot to the left side wing. Kick by Smith. Clock at six. Pass to Matumbo. Puts up a deep three. Abdul Jabbar with a rebound. Man, just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Here's McGrady. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Nice job getting position that time by Abdul Jabbar. And once he gets that position, he goes to work. He launched that one from way outside. And so it's Wimbanyama with it. He brings it up for Washington. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to go on Shea Gilgis-Alexander. McGrady clearly a shoot-first type of player, which forces defenses to get aggressive with him defensively. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Already a very confident player, knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Pass to Rice. From the arc. Abdul-Jabbar with a rebound. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. That's what you need your bigs to do. Step up and control the defensive glass. Here's Wimbanyama. And Havlicek pulls it down. To the inside. Abdul-Jabbar. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. What a smart pass from Wimbayama. Already adept at scanning the floor and finding open teammates. Wimbayama, no good. Pass to Wimbayama. Out to James. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Gilgis Alexander defending. Here's McGrady. Six to shoot. There's a screen. Inside. Abdul Jabbar misses. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. And here's the fast break. And the dunk by Wimbanyama. He has such an elusive cover. The Frenchman Wimbayama is especially hard to stop in transition. Wimbayama, no good. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes play. Here's the tumble. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. And at seven foot two, all Matumbo needs is a position near the hoop, and he throws it down. Gilgis Alexander with a steal. It's intercepted. To the paint. Here we go, one on one. Oh, LeBron hammers it home. Boy, there's nothing quite like LeBron on the fast break. That combination of size, strength, and speed makes him electric. Back to Gilgis Alexander. The long distance three is Perry. Gilgis Alexander's got five now. Well, plenty of give and take so far. The six lead changes already. Both teams came to play. And as it goes out of bounds, Washington able to keep possession. Here's Havlicek. Still no points. Here's Wimanyama. There's the drive. Oh, ferocious on the attack. Once Wimanyama gets into the lane, the defense is done. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Down low. Stolen! Out to the right wing. James, outside. Cuts off the pass. And here's Wimbanyama. This one for three. First quarter wrapping up here, and it's a tie game. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after the break. And 
Man, it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. And there it is for him. Malone's got his first points of the game. Trading the lead back and forth, neither side is willing to back down. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Here's Robertson. Out to the right wing. The three. Yogowskis shot is off. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Irving goes in. Pass to Brown. Back to Irving. Brown with a screen. Just five to shoot. And the finish by Irving! Artistry and poetry in motion. Irving can create in the air as well as anybody. And he drives in. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. That's why we had those breakaway rims. Dude, he risked pulling the whole thing down to the floor right there. Boy, that was a great dunk, and we've got a great game here. Here's our test. From outside, off the mark. Pass to Irving. From deep three-point land. An absolute bomb from three-point range. How about Irving stretching out the defense, making the most of a rare trip behind the arc? This is why you put the ball in his hands. An accurate pass hitting a moving target. Outside Irving. Back to Smith. To the middle. Here's Brown. Rising up and throwing it down, going all out. There's a screen. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. Washington foul. Long test. First personal foul. First team foul. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Irving looking around. Four on the clock. And that's out of bounds. Miami will keep it. Yeah, a communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. Here's Smith. He's scoreless. You know, our test well known for his defense. Really gritty, strong, doesn't give up an inch, really makes his opponent work. High value assist there. Finding him inside for the finish. Irving for three. Ooh, it's stolen away. Here we go, one on one. Pass to Wilgowskis. There's a screen. Right wing. Five on the clock. Here's Robertson. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. <laughs> That's exactly how you have to defend him on the perimeter. Can't allow any space. And down it goes. Dunked it through off a beautiful setup. Yeah, you know, one thing about being a great scorer, you draw a lot of defensive attention. And there, Irving takes advantage by finding an open teammate. Robertson. Pass to Smith. Fires from deep. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. Second team foul. 
Ooh, good defensive intensity. But you have to stay in control always. Especially on a three-point attempt. I mean, you have to defend that shot without fouling. Now you give a guy three free throws. And he makes all three. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. Inside. Here's Ogowskis. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The towering presence of Zadrunas Ilgowskis, intimidating for opposing team. He's a real matchup problem. There's 45 seconds left in the first half. Smith right side. Down low. And rejected. And here comes the break. Now here's Irving. He's got five from deep three-point range. Smith with the rebound. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Shot on the wing. A nice shot by Artest. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scorers and let them do what they do best. Here's Ogowskis. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Miami Heat up by one. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Outside Wimbanyama with the lead. Fires in the triple. Wimbanyama's got five points. Scouts love this from Wimbanyama. A big who can hit smooth three-point shots. Nails it from three. And <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Wimbanyama, no good. You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. And that's out of bounds. Miami will keep it. Now a timeout called by Washington. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Outside Wimbanyama. Pass to Rice. The three ball. Good. And the assist to Wimbanyama. And now it's a four point Miami lead. Wimbanyama with it. And the dunk by Wimbanyama. And Wimbayama can dunk it basically just standing up. You gotta keep him out of the paint. Back to Wimbayama. They set a pick. Pass to Matumbo. Now Wimbayama. 19 footer. It's hauled in by Wimbayama. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. And I like seeing McGrady rise up for the dunk. Has amazing leaping ability and good reach, too. He makes it look easy. Well, it's not hard to get excited about what Wimbanyama could potentially bring to the league, Grant. Yeah, I mean, possibly some of the biggest hype we've seen, B.A. Unreal ball skills at 7'4", and he's got that drive to be the greatest. Shot clock at 6. Launches it. That shot is off. And it's Miami's ball. Washington foul. Tracy McGrady. First personal foul. First team foul. The home team on D. Pass to Matumbo. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. From outside the arc. 
drops in the three. Matumbo's got five now. Yeah, the guard instincts of Gilgis Alexander. I mean, fantastic work dishing the rock to uncover teammates. Now Wimbanyama. Five points in the game. To the inside. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. And it's a five-point Miami lead. All too easy for Wimbayama. He feels like no one can defend him inside. Gilchus Alexander with a rebound. You rarely see him missing dunk. But the defender was right in his face on that one, and it threw him off just enough. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Let's the three fly. Nails it from beyond the arc. He's got 12. And you've got to worry about Wimbenyama everywhere. He puts a defense to the test. Third quarter action. Just under three and a half minutes have passed. Pass to Wimbenyama. To stop the run. And the dunk by Wimbenyama. Strong performance from him, but he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. And here's Gilgis Alexander. Back to Wimanyama. Here's the pick. Now Gilgis Alexander. No dice from the high post. It can be tough to find space in the mid-range area. Probably should have passed that one up. To the right side. Pass to Wimanyama. To the paint. Out to James. Down to five on the shot clock. And he commits the intentional foul. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Forty-four seconds left in the third quarter. To the inside. James. Six on the shot clock. Let's go with a three. Havlicek shot is off. And Brown has got the ball here for Miami. They're leading by eight. Back to Smith. Washington foul. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. First personal foul. Second team foul. Outside Irving. On target from range. Three points. Irving's got eight. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Got it off in time. And so it's Miami in a good situation. Up by 13 points to close the quarter. They're getting quality looks, and that's why they're... And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. The visitors with the ball. This is the most they've led, 13 points. Second personal foul. First team foul. Right side, Wimanyama. Fires the three. Sinks the tray. Wimbanyama's got 10 points in just the second half. When Wimbanyama goes up, he can be so quick. I mean, the rookie looking very assertive. And look at those moves in the post. And the smooth finish to go along with it. Just excellent work around the rim. Left his man lunging and reaching for air. That was something else right there. They set the screen. Pass to Rice. Outside Wimbanyama. Here's Matumbo. And the three-pointer goes. And Miami leads by 17. 
What a smart pass from Wimbenyama. Already adept at scanning the floor and finding open teammates. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. Wimbenyama, the open look. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Puts up a deep three. Pure from three-point range. Wimbenyama's got eight points here in the quarter. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Miami. Really a great job in this one, forcing the issue defensively. Great quickness and discipline combined, making ball handlers very uncomfortable. And they've also been so active defensively, getting deflections, forcing turnovers, and scoring off of them. Pass to Ilgauskas. Shot to stop the run. Look, I know he wanted to answer with a three of his own, but you got to play smarter. Play your game, not theirs. And the offensive skills of Wimbenyama are a huge part of his high value, and nice to see him delivering. Here's Malone. Picked by Smith. To the middle. And that one is stopped right through. I love the throwback basketball. Work it down low and set up your teammate. And it's Miami's ball. Pass to Rice. Three-pointer. Offensive board. Outside Wimbanyama. From behind the arc. No luck on that one. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. One fifty-one left in the final quarter. And that one, good. Wimbanyama's got 27. <laughs> there were questions about Wimbanyama's strength coming into the league. No problem with the contact here. He's the last guy you want to leave alone on the perimeter. And it's Miami's ball. Fires the three. Rice's shot is off. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. A nice shot by Smith. He made the most of that opening, teaching the defense a lesson. Women Yama, no good. Pulls up on the wing, and that one hits the back iron. And Wimbanyama has the ball here for Miami. They have a 19-point lead. Smith outside. Knocks down the long J. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. Uh, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc, and then bury some threes. Unloads. And Wimbanyama gets it to go. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Outside Wimbanyama. Inside. Pass to Matumbo. Back to Wimbanyama. And the dunk by Wimbanyama. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Robertson. To end the run, Ilgauskas gets the bucket. Well, you know, if you're playing Robertson to score, not a bad idea, but that means you're going to leave other guys open and he'll find them. The visiting club takes the win on the road to walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance 